Evening, Henry. Taking the train to restore Kirk Ronan? Sure am. That line hasn't been used for years. Glad the Fat Controller is reopening that line. Well, I'd be careful if I were you. What do you mean? Whenever that owl hoots and mist rolls in, there's a legend that when a moon is full, there's a ghost about too. Take care on the old branch line, Henry. Ha! Oh, stupid bird! Owls, mists, ghosts. Hm. Edward's just going soft in the boiler. But he was wrong. What's that? It's an amber lamp. That means proceed with caution. Who's there? There's no response. Maybe we should keep going and see what's going on there. Henry moved slowly forward. He stopped near a small crossing where he saw an old station, a small shed, and a small harbour. This might be the terminus of the Kirk Ronin line. I bet it is. It looks like it hadn't been used in decades. Those tracks are rusty and overgrown, and a bunch of weeds and grass are growing out. And two fishing boats are still in the port. And look! There's a fogman's coat hanging on that tree! Yeah, where's its owner? Then, he noticed a light shining in the station building, and heard a distant voice. Hello! g g, -g, -g ghost Edward was right! There's something strange happening. I suggest we head back. So do I! By morning, the mist had cleared. The workman was telling his crew about the abandoned terminus of Kirk Ronan. I don't know about you, but I heard rumours about the, about an old engine named Neil, who worked at the Kirk Ronan branch along with his brothers, and brought Scarlowy to the Narragate Railway around the 19th century. And he was later put in the small shed by the time the Sodor and Mainland Railway went bankrupt and closed. That's why you left that place last night. Yes, but nobody knows where he is. But I have a theory that he was scrapped and there was somebody inside the station building. Oh dear. Later that afternoon, he spoke to Henry about the terminus. Well, old boy, looks like we're going to have to take our train to the old line tonight. But, but, but I don't really want to. Well, what if there's a ghost again? Well, I don't want to either. But we really have to since everyone else is busy and you're the only engine available. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure there's no one in that terminus but us. <clears throat> that night, Henry was coupled up to his train and sizzling nicely. Suddenly, an owl hooted and Gordon ah! thundered by with the express. Look ah! out for the ghost, Henry! Oh, look! Henry spooked! Oh, be quiet! I'm not scared! But he was as well. A little later, when they reached the entrance of the, of the Kirk Ronan branch, the fog came down. As they approached the same area, they saw the amber lamp again. Here we go. Then, unbeknownst to Henry, the light in the station building slowly turned on, and a distant voice can be heard again. Hello! The trucks had seen and heard it all, and they were spooked too. Faster, faster! There's a ghost about! Stop! Stop! The 
mysterious figure watched Henry go by. Ahead was a small dot leading to the end of the line. Henry braked hard, but the truck plunged into the snow. Just then, Henry's driver heard steam coming from the shed. What's that? Is it a ghost? Out comes a small 040 Nielsen box tank with SM lettering and number two painted on each side, and an elderly man on board, and Henry's fireman laughed. Why, that's our ghosts! It's old Bailey the Fogman, and that box engine, Neil! Aye, it's me! So the workmen's rumours are true! I was sleeping in the shed where I was left in many years ago, and I heard a loud splashing coming from outside. What happened? Well, I was taking my train here, and I pushed my trucks down the small docks and into the sea while I was trying to stop when he heard a voice. Oh, that was me. I was hoping someone would come in to take me back in service after all these years when I heard puffing. Yeah, but I've bought the right coal for him and power for the station. But I was warning you about bigger mainline engines speeding in this branch line. The rails can't handle its weight, you know. So that explains why there's an amber lamp in Rolf's castle. We're, we're sorry. We didn't know. Is there any way we can thank you? Well, my grandfather used to own this line, and I like to operate this old station in Dot Oxide. If he'd left me, we promised the knife was won't speak Henry ever again. Many months later, Old Bailey's wish was granted, and the reconstruction of the Kirk Ronan line was completed. Sir Charles Topham Hatt was holding a grand reopening. You, the station, and that engine will be really useful. Thank you, Sir Charles. My grandfather owned this line back in the 19th century until it went bankrupt in 1901. The two engines were scrapped, except one, which is Neil. They placed him in the shed for many years until I found him and restored him. Let's hear for a hearty thank you for the two friendliest, uh, ghosts on the island. Everyone cheered, especially Henry and Neil, who were the happiest of all. <laughs>